Want to create UI cards that stand out? Look no further. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps of designing an amazing UI card and by the end of this video, you'll learn how to turn a card like this into this. So let's dive in. Before we jump into the design process, first you should understand how a card is structured. Well, we have different types of UI cards. We can use them for blog posts, products, dashboard design, etc. But generally, a UI card contains a rich media section, a mandatory information section, an optional supporting information section, and an action section. So let me break it down for you. In the rich media section, we obviously need to have a large and attention grabbing image. Right underneath, we need to have the mandatory information section, which usually includes the title and description. Next, we can include the optional information section, which usually gives the user more information to decide whether he or she wants to take action or not. It's optional because if you remove this section, the card still has all the necessary elements. And finally, the action section, which includes one or more call to action buttons. To design a good card, you should know what's the main goal of the card. Cards are used to group elements and information in a logical and understandable way so that users can digest the information quickly and conveniently. Therefore, when designing a card, it's crucial to group your elements logically so you cannot put the CTA right under the image and expect the user to click on it because you haven't provided any information yet. All right, now let's start designing a reservation card with these elements. Here we have an image, title, subtitle, rating, a few tags, total price, and a button. So first, let's start by adding a rectangle and making it rounded. And next, we are gonna add the necessary elements. Right at the top, I'm gonna add a large and attention grabbing image, which is basically our media section. Next, I'm gonna add the mandatory information section here. I'm gonna put the title, subtitle, and rating here. Don't worry about the padding and margins. We will get back to it later. Next, I'm gonna put the tags under the rating as the optional supporting information section. And finally, I'm gonna put the price and the call to action button at the bottom. So now that we have all the necessary elements, we need to group them logically by changing the spacing between our elements. I'm gonna set the margin between the title, the subtitle, and the rating to eight, because they should be perceived as related elements. Alternatively, you can put the rating in another group, but for this card, I think it makes sense to keep it as is. Next, we need to put the tags next to each other, and since we have very small tags, I'm gonna set the margin to four. Finally, I'm gonna group the price and the reserve button and set the spacing to eight. All right, now that we grouped our elements and we specified the spacing within our groups, it's time to set the margin between our groups as well. As a general rule, the gap between groups should be larger than the gap between elements within a group. So here, I'm gonna set the margin between these three groups to 32, and the padding on the sides is gonna be 24. Now it's time to check the size and the colors of our elements. At the moment, we don't have a good visual hierarchy, so let's fix that. For this card, I'm gonna use the Plus Jakarta Sans font, which is a free font, by the way. I'm gonna use a larger font size for the more important elements and a smaller font size for the less important elements. As for the color choice, I'm gonna use a darker color for the most important elements to grab the user's attention and a brighter color for less important elements. All right, our card is ready. The next step is to check the contrast ratio of our colors to see if it follows the accessibility guidelines. Make sure that your colors get at least a double A grade. As a bonus, I'm gonna show you how to create a variant of this card as well. Imagine you wanna have a card with a much larger image and fewer details. So we can get rid of the optional section like the tag section and make the image larger. But you might say, how should we determine the height of these sections 
the top part and the bottom part. Well, if you're not sure about the proportion of your sections, you can use the golden ratio to determine these values. If you don't know what the golden ratio is and how to use it in your UI design, make sure to check out this video. Next, I'm gonna change the placement of the rating since we have less room to fit all these elements. And our card is ready. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. Have an awesome day and see you soon.